Do we have any non-Muslims on any of the mics of the sisters? Okay, we have one in the right-hand side. Go ahead, sister. Salam alaikum ji. I am a Hindu, Amuta Ramesh. Uh, I am a diploma engineering. Uh, sorry to asking this question. Hindu believes their religion. Muslim believes their religion. But when both are meeting, Hindu will not trying to convert in Hindu. But the Muslims, why do they are trying to convert in Muslims? Sister, if I understood your question correctly, when Hindus meet Muslims, they don't try and convert the Muslims to Hinduism, correct? Yeah. But when the Muslims meet the Hindus, they try and convert the Hindus to Muslim, correct? Correct. Sister, it is like giving an example. There is a student who goes to school, maybe he's in the seventh standard or eighth standard. There's another student who goes to postgraduate college, postgraduate college, maybe he's doing his master's. Now, when they meet, will the school student try and teach the postgraduate, or the postgraduate will teach the school student? Sister, yes. will, will the school-going student teach the postgraduate student or the postgraduate student will teach the school-going student? Sister, I asked you a simple question, not a difficult question. Sister, have you understood my question? Yeah, yeah. So will a student going to school, will teach a student going to a senior college, postgraduate college? Or no. will a student going to postgraduate college will teach a student going to the school? Postgraduate only. Correct. So in comparison, when the Muslims, what we believe, we are postgraduates. So when we meet our younger brother who are in school, it's our duty to share knowledge. We don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be selfish. You know, those who are selfish, yeah, the person should not be a graduate. You know, let him suffer. Let him be in school only. If he comes to college, postgraduate, he may take my job away. Those are selfish people. We, mashallah, we are selfless. It's our duty to spread the message of truth. So when we meet a non-Muslim, whether Hindu, whether Christian, whether Buddhist, we tell ta'ala wila kalmitum sawaim bayna baynakum. Come to common terms and we try and educate them. We don't want to degrade them. We try and educate them so that they can become a postgraduate. And both of us will get a good job. The good job is going to Jannah. So we don't alone want to go to Jannah. We want to take our brothers and sisters to Jannah. Sister, do you want to go to Jannah? Do you want to go to paradise? Jannah. Do you want to go to paradise? No. Do you want to go to paradise, yes or no? I want to go to heaven only. Heaven, yes. He another name for heaven is paradise. There are some rules and regulations to go to heaven. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, according to the Hindu scriptures, according to the Quran, according to the Bible, if you want to go to heaven, you have to believe there is one God. You have to believe he has got no images, he has got no photograph, he has got no idols. Sister, do you believe? In one God? Yeah, I believe Hindu only. You believe in Hindu God? Do you believe that God has got idols? No, God is not idol. So do you believe in idol worship? Idol worship, I am believing also. You are believing in idol worship? Yes. So if God doesn't have idol, why are you worshipping the idol? Aren't you going against your Hindu scriptures? Your Hindu scripture says, in Sveta Svetara Upanishad, chapter 4, verse number 19, and Yajurubhai, chapter 32, verse number 3, Na Tasrapati Me Asti, of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no statue, there is no sculpture, there is no idol. So do you want to follow your Hindu scriptures or you don't want to follow your Hindu scriptures? No, I want to follow my culture only, Hindu only. Culture, not your religion. My religion is Hindu only, I want to follow. But your Hindu religion is based on Vedas. Have you read the Vedas, sister? 
No. Is it your duty you have to read the Vedas? When will you read it? Tomorrow? Or tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I will try. I, I request you, sister, read the Vedas tonight. No, Tom but... No, but why you can't read it at night? You can read at night, sister. No problem. Veda and Quran, you can read day, you can read night. No problem. My request to you, sister, go home. Go on the internet. Type the references I gave. Yajurve chapter 32, verse number 3. Sveta Setaro Panisha chapter 4, verse number 19. You know, in Kishan Ganj, I gave a talk in Kishan Ganj just two weeks back. And it was a three day program. First day, it was a talk. Second day, open question and session only. Third day was talk and question. On second day, and the deadline in India is 10 o'clock on Supreme Court. But when 10 o'clock was over, one intellectual Hindu came and told, you know, Dr. Zakir, what are you trying to do? You're talking about communal harmony, what are you trying to convert, and blah, 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 blah. I believe in, I only believe in Bhagavad Gita, I don't believe in Veda. I wanted to answer him, but the time was up. So I told him, when you come tomorrow, Inshallah, I will give you the first chance. The next day, when I gave him the first chance to ask the question, he said, full night, I did research. I phoned the scholars of Hinduism, the pundits, and I was shocked that they said that whatever you told, 100% was correct. In Hinduism, there is one God. Hindu scriptures speak about Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him. He said, I could not sleep the full night. So he made my job easier. So I'm requesting you, sister, that tonight you go home. If you don't have any pundit to ask, you can Google, you know. Shake Google, we say shake Google. A pundit Google, go there, type all the references, try and find out, and tomorrow you can come and ask the question again, sister. Inshallah. Thank you. To go about and how to refrain from falling into the vices of staring and stuff like that. And the second question is,